Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the web version of Lightroom. Yes, there's actually three versions of Lightroom. There's Lightroom Classic, there's Lightroom CC, what many of us call the cloud version of Lightroom, and then there's actually a browser-based version of Lightroom. And all three of these versions are available to you with your Adobe subscription, even if you just have the basic photographer's plan. Now, the web version of Lightroom is really a watered down version of Lightroom CC, uh, but it may come in useful uh, if you're out somewhere, you don't have your computer with you, you have a great image you need to process or something like that. Uh, you could uh, just go online to uh, lightroom.adobe.com and I'll have the links in the description below this video. Log into your Creative Cloud account and you'll be able to upload the image to uh, your Creative Cloud Adobe account and edit it in the browser-based version of Lightroom. And what we're gonna talk about in this video as well, that image will sync across Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic automatically. So right now I have my Chrome web browser open and I'm at lightroom.adobe.com and these are actually images that I have in Lightroom CC and they're showing up in this uh, browser-based version of Lightroom as well. Now I want to upload an image uh, from my computer to this um, browser version of Lightroom. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a new album. So I'm going to go over here and click on the little plus sign and create album and I'm just going to call it my working album right there working album click create now again I'm in my web browser this isn't Lightroom CC this is the website lightroom.adobe.com and I'm logged into my creative cloud account so I have this working album I just created I'm going to click on that and I'm going to as I mentioned upload a raw file to it so I'm going to select files and then it makes you select them twice I don't know why it does that but then I, on my desktop, I have a uh, Nikon RAW file. And for some reason, there it is. It was grayed out. But there it is. I have a Nikon RAW file. It's right there. And we're just going to click Open. Now, uh, click Upload One Photo. It's 30 megabytes. And it's going to see it's uh, uploading. So it's relatively slow uh, because my upload speed on my internet is relatively slow. So I'll fast forward the video through this and we'll get to it right when it uploads. Okay, we're back. It's just about uploaded and it looks like it's complete. We'll click continue. It says one file, one photo was uploaded. We're gonna click on view. There's our image right there. I'm gonna double click on that and you could see that is our Nikon RAW file. Now I'd like to edit it. Now this is where the um, browser version of Lightroom kind of falls short. There's not a lot of editing tools compared to Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic. Uh, to go to edit this, uh, first of all, let me just click on the X and we'll go back to the general workspace. I'm in that working album over here. And you may remember yesterday I did a video that if you click on the little home button right here, uh, you could get to interactive edits. So I did a video talking about interactive edits. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have it linked in the description below and a little flag will pop up over here on the right hand side. But check out that because these interactive edits are pretty interesting. Also, there's a lot of guided tutorials as well. But we're gonna go back to our own library over here. We're gonna go back to that working album. We're going to click on that image. Then we're going to edit it. And to edit it, we're gonna go over here on the far right hand side and click on these little edit icon. And you can see it's gonna load the editing tools. And there's Again, it's kind of limited. There's not a lot of editing tools. Uh, first of all, um, you could crop it. I don't want to crop this image. So you can see there's a little crop icon there. Uh, but when you come in, by default, it's going to open up here. And it does have profiles. So you could go to the profile browser. And let's say I want to pick Adobe Landscape for that. And then maybe there's um, camera matching. Let's go to camera matching. And let's go to, I don't see anything I like there, but let's just stay with what we got. So I'm done. I'm going to click back. So I picked the Adobe landscape. We're going to go to light. And then we have under light, uh, exposure, contrast, highlights, 
it highlights down a little bit. We'll open up those shadows. There's a bit of a lag um, I'm noticing. Now again, I'm using a very old iMac. It's seven years old, a 2013. And actually this morning, I just ordered a brand new iMac and it's not gonna be here though until uh, the end of the month. So, cause they just released new iMacs and I just parted with some bucks uh, to get them. Now, a white and black point. Let's see if the alt key works and it doesn't. To get a white or black point, uh, you could see that I'm holding in the alt key and it's not giving me the clipping warnings. If I hit the J key, it doesn't give me the clipping warnings either. So you don't get clipping warnings. Let me just kind of adjust those then by eye. And so there is, uh, let's say the light adjustments. Uh, we'll go to color and under the color we have the white balance, uh, then we have vibrance and saturation. Um, also, if we click this little button right here, we'll roll down the uh, HSL adjustments. So I could come in here and adjust the luminance value. I'm going to bring and make the blue sky a little darker. And again, there's kind of a lag, which is kind of annoying. I'm just going to do this really quick. I don't think the, um, the adjustments are that out of the ordinary. Uh, most of you guys know what to do here uh, with the adjustments. So. Uh, we could do that. Um, saturation vibrates don't need to adjust. You also could convert it to black and white here. Um, then there's effects. So we could do uh, texture and clarity. We'll add a little clarity, add a little texture, um, tiny bit of dehaze. And um, then we could do a vignette and you could roll down more vignette controls by clicking on that little expose slider there. So we could add a darker vignette. We could adjust the midpoint roundness feather as we need change the type of or style of the vignette uh, with that drop down and then we could roll it back up we also could add grain and you could have our little roll down there and it will uh, give you a couple more sliders to controls the con to affect the size and roughness of the grain but we're not going to do that and there's also split toning so you could do split toning to the image uh, but that's all there is there isn't any um, any uh, local adjustments so there's no local adjustment brush uh, there's no uh, tone curve. There's um, a lot, you know, uh, upright adjustments, nothing like that you can't do. Uh, even under the crop tool, there's not much uh, there to, um, you know, to do like upright adjustments or anything like that. Right here, uh, this button is for presets. So if I click on that, uh, if you have any presets loaded in your Lightroom Classic or Lightroom CC, they'll all show up there. And this little button here is you could uh, reset the image. So I could go back to edit. Now, once you're done with your edits, uh, you could just click on this little X right here and you're back into your working album. Now this, I mentioned at the top, automatically syncs with Lightroom CC and uh, Lightroom Classic. And what I'm gonna do is I'll just go over here and here is Lightroom CC. Lightroom CC and the web version of Lightroom look very similar. Uh, but we'll go to that working album and there's that image. So it's synced automatically to Lightroom CC. Now with Lightroom CC, I do have local adjustments and I have uh, the tone curve and other things that I could do um, to this image that I may want to do that I couldn't do uh, with the web version of Lightroom. So I have that all here in this version. And because it automatically synced, if I need to do anything, I could do it here. Um, then I mentioned that it also automatically syncs with Lightroom Classic. Now with Lightroom Classic, to find it, what you do is you'll have a collection automatically that says from Lightroom. And if you click on that, you can see that working album I created automatically showed up under this from Lightroom. And if I click on it, you can see there's our image, the processed image that I did on the internet, now synced to both the Lightroom uh, CC and Lightroom Classic. So I don't think a lot of photographers need to use the web version of Lightroom, but as I mentioned, maybe there's just a situation where your computer crashed and you have images, but you could borrow a computer. They don't have Lightroom on their computer. You know, I, you know, it's a really far out scenario, but it could happen, I guess. So, um, you know, check it out. Again, in the description below the video, I'll have links to anything, uh, to everything I've talked about. And what about you? Is um, the 
web version of Lightroom, something you'd use? Have you used it? Uh, let me know. I'm interested to find out. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.